now we will learn about the structure requirement for a compound so uh, as a totem uh, which type of compound which type of structure requirement for compound so totem so here i have mentioned some uh, uh, points the first point the second point on the about the third points option third point four points i this four point mention uh, about the which type of structure requirement are uh, to compound so tautomerase first of all we will uh, learn one by one first first a point is that compound should have electron withdrawing group such type of groups if the compound having such type of group then they can so totem is this here I have some example this compounds this is group C double bond O group C double bond O groups NO2 groups this compound C triple bond N group this type of groups have uh, capacity of electron withdrawing and this type of groups can show tautomerism and uh, if this type of groups present in the compound they can show tautomerism this type of group present in this compound then they can show tautomerism but the compound acid and acid derivative does not show tautomerism such as carboxylic acid and sulfonic acid if the carboxylic acid sulfonic acid if such type of group carboxylic acid sulfonic acid ester amide if this type of group will be present in the compound then they cannot show tautomerism uh, what was the reason behind to compound not showing tautomerism if the compound has a c double bond o s means acid derivative groups the reason we will learn further but here we should remember and here we should consider about only things that if the compound have this c type of groups here electron withdrawing groups then they can show tautomerism the second point compound uh, should have at least one acidic hydrogen of alpha carbon atoms should have acidic hydrogen on maybe you have written on alpha hydrogen atoms if this compound electron degree group then their alpha carbon atoms should have a hydrogen acidic hydrogen must be present hydrogen and the uh, carbon atom must be of sp3 hybridized other than carbon ni uh, oxygen nitrogen uh, upper molecule but we should consider what only compounds should have at least one acidic hydrogen on alpha carbon atoms of a molecule having sp3 hybridization if alpha carbon atoms having hydrogen this also having alpha carbon atoms heavy hydrogen must be of sp3 hybridized this one is sp3 hybridized this one is also sp3 hybridized this one is also sp3 hybridized this one also sp3 hybridized this is in the alpha this one is beta this one also in beta this one is beta alpha beta alpha beta here is only alpha alpha carbon atoms must be three sp3 hybridized and having at least one hydrogen atoms this important point we should remember and then after if we conjugation conjugation is present then there is a possibility of other than alpha hydrogen atoms can be passed to participate in the <coughs> uh, uh, here i have uh, just uh, little bit mistake about this compound this is not only one bond is present here only one bond is present this bond shifted to this this bond shifted to shift then this compound is formed here is only single bonds uh, ch2 ch uh, i will correct this one. here now i have corrected mm, double bonds now this is the correct structure here is a single bond double bond double bonds if the compounds have conjugation then there is a possibility of other than alpha hydrogen also participate in the tautomerism <coughs> here I have, uh, I have shown that this uh, this one is our group this one is our group here is alpha beta and gamma the alpha 
has a conjugation with beta and uh, here uh, this gamma will participate the condition is that sp3 hybridization must be satisfied if had if the com atom having hydrogen if it is not sp3 hybridized then other carbon atoms will check if the that carbon will be conjugation with other than sp3 hybridized carbon here this alpha carbon having hydrogen but not sp3 hybridized it is having hybridization of 1 2 3 sp2 hybridization this is also having sp2 hybridization hydrogen atoms this at carbon atoms having hydrogen but not sp3 hybridized if the atom is not sp3 hybridized then they cannot participate in tautomerism and cannot shift their hydrogen atom they are less acidic they are more electronegative sp3 sp2 sp this is more acidic this is less acidic this is less acidic means this hydrogen will easily migrate and this will require some energy and this will also require some energy both have same <coughs> level of energy required for living hydrogen but this will require less energy for leaving the hydrogen so sp3 hydrogen will migrate it to the more electronegative oxygen atoms and this hydrogen will migrate it to this oxygen atom but there is a process of migration with uh, shifting of hydrogen atoms so what the mechanism involved in the migration of this hydrogen atoms we will learn in the acid mechanism acid base mega acid base mechanism here we should remember and we should focus only about that is the hydrogen atoms will migrate it if that atom has sp3 hybridized this atom is sp3 hybridized then this atom will migrate it not these atoms not this at hydrogen atoms will migrate it because this carbon atoms not sp3 hybridized these two carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized so this will not migrate it <coughs> so they are migrated in this process and uh, as i have shown uh, the structure changes to this and this hydrogen will come this so now we have clearly understand that sp3 hydrogen atoms can be gamma or other hydrogen atoms sp3 hydrogen can be gamma if the conjugation is present then if the conjugation is present then sp3 hydrogen may be gamma there is not necessary that only alpha hydrogen will participate there is a possibility of beta gamma other than alpha also participate in the tautomerism and the, our the next uh, if the compounds have active methyl methylene group then tautomerism is shown by the hydrogen of this group but that group must be of sp3 hybridized if there will be active methylene group methylene group if there will be active methylene group then that hydrogen will also can participate if that group will be sp3 hybridized as this carbon atoms is sp3 hybridized so this also can participate in showing tautomerism this hydrogen can also participate to show tautomerism this type of a structure can show tautomerism now uh, this compounds is given if the compound showing tautomerism to each other then each compound have same number of pi bond otherwise they will not show tautomerism the meaning of this statement is that this, this compound can show tautomerism to these two compounds this compounds are tautomerism to uh, to each other both the, uh, all these three compounds are tautomerized to each other means if two compounds showing tautomerism then pi bonds will be same in both the compounds if these compounds here i'll uh, minimize this if this compound so tautomerism 
then uh, they have the same pi bond if these two compounds will show tautomerism then both two compounds will have same number of pi bond if they will not have same number of pi bond then they cannot show tautomerism as these compounds have number of pi bonds 1 2 3 these compounds are number of pi bonds 1 2 3 means number of pi bonds equal to 3 here number of pi bonds equal to 3 means they can show tautomerism to each there if these two compounds have number of pi bonds 1 2 3 total 3 number of pi bonds pi bonds are same then they can show tautomerism to each other these two compounds also have same number of pi bonds they can show tautomerism to each other so all these compounds showing tautomerism to, uh, among each other if they will have same number of pi bonds if pi bonds changes number of pi bonds changes then they cannot show tautomerism to each other uh, here i have written here below two compounds one and two are tautomers of, of compound they all having the same number of pi bonds equal to three so they are saying tautomers any compound that has sp3 hybridization with respect to conjugation of any electronegative atom that can show tautomerism that's why first we'll learn something basic about hybridization so to find that any atoms in organic compounds hybridization we will learn something about hybridization because by knowing the hybridization we will can and get idea about which type of compounds can show tautomerism because the hydrogen which is migrated to more electronegatives must be of sp3 hybridized so we will learn something basic about hybridization we will not learn about more details only we will learn sp sp2 sp3 this must be uh, learned by students which want to learn tautomerism here also explain by giving the example of hybridization we will also explain about the tautomerism so we should uh, if anyone knowing it, uh, uh, hybridization in detail if they already learned but which they also are advised to see this video see the uh, here what about the examples given in hybridization for more understanding more clear view more clearing the concept of Tautomerism. Here I am not involving only hybridization. I will also explain about the something tautomerism. So this is also important.